There's an ancient Chinese curse that comes to mind. And the ancient Chinese curse is, may you live in interesting times. And when you think about it, we really do live in interesting times, which is a transition between the industrial-based economy, the industrial age, and where we are today in the information age. In the industrial age, it was physical assets that companies used to make money. They had property, plant, and equipment. And they would hire people and they would manufacture a product and send that product out into the world. Today, we're really in the information age where a lot of major manufacturers no longer actually even own manufacturing plants. And I think as an example there is, is Nike. Uh, what they do is they have information systems that enable them to deliver product. So they go out into the world and they do market research and they find out what it is the consumer wants. Then they design the product using their intellectual capital and then they send that information out to the world explaining to people why that product is important and necessary. But it's all about computer systems and managing information. So we've left a time where the key assets to make money were property, plant, equipment, trucks, manufacturing plants, and we've entered a time where the key assets for making money are intellectual capital and the ability to use information using information networks and distribute and communicate that information to the world. Traditional property and casualty insurance was designed to protect tangible assets, property, plant, and equipment. You have property insurance, which would protect the factory that built the goods. It would protect the raw materials and the finished product in the warehouse. You have automobile insurance, which would insure the trucks used to deliver the raw materials to the factory and then the, the final product to the market. You had workers' compensation insurance that protected the workers. All of the traditional property and casualty insurance lines were designed for the industrial age and protecting traditional tangible assets. Now we've entered the information age. In the information age, companies no longer rely on these traditional tangible assets to make money. Sure, they still use them, but they're not the key assets. The key assets become the information networks and their ability to transfer information throughout the organization and outside the organization. The data stored on those networks the ability to use that data, that's the key to making money. Now, you need a specialized insurance that's geared toward those new exposures and protecting those assets, which are really your critical intellectual property assets, and the key to make, making a profit.